Today we'll look at how to add transitions between your clips in DaVinci Resolve. I've created this new project with two clips on my timeline, and I'm here on the edit page. If I play these clips, you'll see it's just a hard cut between them. So let's add a transition. To do that, we click on effects, and then we have the video transitions here. If I scroll down, you can see there are many cool options, a couple dozen at least. And if you scrub your mouse cursor over them, you can see the effect it will have. So it will give you a little preview before you actually apply it. Let's do this one here called Barn Door. So to apply a transition, we want to click and drag it to the space between two clips. So I'll click it, I'll drag it, and nothing is actually happening. I'll let go. You may experience this yourself if you try to apply a transition. In order for transitions to work, there needs to be some extra footage at the end and beginning of the two clips. If I click on the end of my clip here, you can see it's red. That means there's no additional footage after the cut. And if I click on the other one, you can see the beginning is also red. The way we can get around this is to use the Trim Edit tool. So I'll select the Trim Edit tool here. I'll select my first clip. And then I'll drag it in here. And you can see there's now a little bit of extra clip at the end. Let's click on the second one. I'll drag that over this way. And now you can see there's some overlap happening there. So we're shortening the two clips a little bit. But now the transition has some overlapping footage to work with. So let's apply the barn door here. And you can see this white box here if there's enough footage. So I'll let go. And now the transition's applied. So let's play through it. And there's the transition. I can delete the transition by clicking on it. And I'll press backspace. And it's gone. Now if we want to apply a transition quickly, you can also just double click it. And it will apply to the closest cut point. So I'll double click on barn door. And it applied there. There are a couple ways you can modify a transition. I can click the endpoints to change the duration. Just note that you'll be limited to how much of that extra footage you have. I can't make it any bigger than this because the footage doesn't go any further. But if I added some in, I could make the transition bigger. And of course, the longer it is, the slower it's going to be. Let's undo that. With the transition selected, you can also go to the Inspector tab. So I'll click Inspector up here. And then you have many options that you can do to adjust the duration. You can even add some visual effects to your transition. For example, add a border. So let's play through it now. If you use one of the basic transitions, you can choose the type here. Not all of the transitions you can just swap out like this, but many of them you can. So let's do spiral wipe. So that's spiral wipe. You could also change the color of it. Once again, you want to do these things in moderation. You don't want to go too crazy. But it can be fun to play with. Now transitions aren't just for video clips. They also work great with text. I'll add a text element to my project. I have the effects tab open. Let's go to titles. Let's add a fusion title. I'll add this one, neon flicker. So you can see that's the basic behavior. Now I can go back to the transitions, video transitions. Make sure the playhead is over your text here. And you can scroll over the transitions and see the preview. We have some dissolves here. Some iris effects. I like this one, camera shake. And it got added to the end of my text. But I could also add it to the beginning. And there we have our transition. One other scenario you might run into is having two clips at a cut point. For example, I have this picture in picture of a flag here, and then I have a transition. Let's play it. It looks a little awkward there. The picture in picture isn't transitioning. You can easily get around this by adding the transition to the other clip as well. So I'll just click and drag this over here. Now I have the transition on the flag clip and on the transition between these two clips. So if I play through it now, it transitions smoothly. So that's one of those things I have to sometimes add. If there's any DaVinci Resolve topic you'd like to see a video on, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.